Like, can you imagine the parties out here? I know. <laughs> they even had um, their own outdoor kitchen. Yeah. Not bad. Not Except bad it's at pink, all. Except it's we still can, pink. We can repaint it. What was in there, do you think? A, a dishwasher? Do you think they had a dishwasher? Or ice maker? An ice maker? Something where they put drinks? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Or, yeah, like a refrigerator. Ah, oh, that's exactly probably what it was. Because there's, and there's they, an outlet there. They still have a cute little couch here. And they do. They still have the couch. And they have one of those light-up um, heart decor things. You plug it in. Oh, it, that's yeah. what that is? <laughs> yes. All right, so that lights up. It's a beautiful picture. That lights up. <laughs> and they did laundry out here. Yeah, yeah, they did. They have their own uh, laundry line. But you know what? The backyard is pretty... It's decent. It's decent. It's not I bad. Like yeah, you could have your pets. own little garden, too. Mm -hmm. This is Very a nice cute. space. It's enclosed, and uh, it's uh, fenced, which is also... The mm -hmm. fence right there is coming down, but that's... Yeah, that's, that's a, a panel at Home Depot. Yeah, there's like one panel at Home Depot. We'll fix that up really quickly. Well, oh. and you know what I like most about out here is mm. the, the tile. Now, out of all the six different tiles. <laughs> the tile, this is pretty. <laughs> yes. I like it. This is the best. This is 24 by, tw it's it's massive. Like, I don't even understand why would they do 24 by 24, 24 tiles out here. This is pretty big. It is big. It is big. That right? must have been fun laying but, that floor. Okay. It works. That's what they did, so we'll work it out. <laughs> And anyway, it's a lattice board here for uh, privacy. Not bad, not bad at all. So, <laughs> with using the male formula, uh huh. Let's oh, turn that's this good. Let's figure out how much we're going to. Oh, right. Yeah. Let's talk about it. All right. So, using our maximum allowable, allowable offer. offer formula, right? That's, that's what right. we mean by mayo, not the with the stuff that you put on your sandwich. <laughs> no. Something can we, else. Can we, there we go. Now yeah. We're you know what? I tried to do mine horizontally. See, it doesn't like it. Oh! When you're live, yeah. When you're live, you have to. You, <laughs> I it's all or nothing. That. I know, right? Either you're gonna start out horizontal or you're gonna start out vertical. I need longer arms. That. That's I what know. I need. <laughs> we need like a selfie stick. Exactly. Or something when we're doing it. All right. So there, we it go, well, there we go. There we go. Like, so. <laughs> So our maximum allowable offer, what would it be? What would we offer on this property? What would you offer? What do you think you So do? the maximum allowable offer is you take the retail price of the home, what, it, what you can get on it market value, mm -hmm. and you're going to get a reduction of 70% roughly. Right. So then you times that number by 0 0.7, and then you get a base number, and then you subtract all your repairs off of that. Mm -hmm. So this house is about $189,000 market value. Yep. So then when you do all that, and so we estimated with the repairs and everything, we would offer about 150 for this house. Yeah. To make it beautiful like we make our properties. So 189,000 times 70% or 0 0.70. And then we have our base number. From that number, we would subtract all of the repairs. So all the sum total of all of the repairs. Now we were just... Um, Making repairs based off of calculating repairs based off of like cosmetic stuff, but we haven't taken um, a look at the roof yet. And I know it's pretty aged. And when I drove up to the property, that's one of the first things that I looked at, and it looked right. like it was still okay. But at the end, I did see some um, some water stains, some water intrusion on the ceiling. So that's a telltale sign that the roof needs to be replaced, right? Yeah, so. and, and the fact, you don't know how long the, the attic access has been in the shower. Yeah, <laughs> the attic in the shower. Yeah, the attic <laughs> in the shower. <laughs> so you never know what, I, I would look there too and I would inspect going up there because I bet there is some mold intrusion going up in there. <laughs> there is a lot of, yeah, there's some mold and some, some stuff going in there. So like even conservatively, I would probably um, estimate about $20,000 for this house. Would you agree? Yep. Easy, easy 20,000. So if you, whatever number that we had, I, I can't, I don't have my calculator. You got your calculator? It's yeah. on the phone. All right, we're gonna go, phone. we're gonna go to the calculator and see if we can, a hundred and for assignment fee and closing fees if you're not transferring it to you know your cash buyer at the end so we're really looking at like the low 100s for this property yeah so um mm -hmm. just to I reiterate so. what jackie said is when you want to get this at a discount of about 70 percent minus repairs for your mayo formula it brings it down to about 132 is what we would ask without repairs and then we estimate um, twenty thousand in rehab, and that again brings us down to what about one twelve? That's correct. 
Exactly. Okay. Right? So we'd, we'd offer 112 for this. I know. So to make this house like a really good deal, if um, we're going to flip it, it would definitely have to be somewhere around between 110,000. That will be our maximum. 110, you know, max between 110 and 115. We couldn't go any higher and be profitable right. after all of the repairs. And, and so a lot of people ask me the question, you know, where do you find your homes? And this home was found on the MLS. Mm -hmm. But I guarantee you, they wouldn't accept our offer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a lot of our homes that we rehab and how you actually make money is done through off-market marketing. Right. This is very, very true. So what Christine is referring to is properties that are listed on the MLS um, versus properties that are not on the MLS, right? So they're not being marketed at all. There's a difference. And we call those properties off-market properties, right? right? So we do, as real estate investors, we do our own marketing. We go out and we find properties that are not listed on the MLS. Why do we do that? Because we believe that we would have more of a negotiating power and we can actually deal directly with the owner of that property. Exactly. And put cash into their pocket and purchase the properties as is. So it's a win-win situation um, for the owner as well as us as well as the buyer I mean there's so many wins right. in the real estate transaction it's amazing it's and, so good and so now don't get me wrong having a realtor is awesome and nice yes. you know what because she I, is I am one right? <laughs> She is one. I'm so we're not trying to cut. We are not trying to cut the realtor out. No. But it, you get a deeper discount sometimes. Sometimes, exactly. If there's no realtor. But I want to put this thought in, in your mind, right? Okay. Even though you're a realtor, you can still help people out and actually help the investor out. If you help, if you can be that person who negotiates between both parties, you can actually create a win-win that works for both of you. That's right. So that would be um, the commission on the listing side as well as the commission on, on the buying side. So the if there's one realtor and they're doing both um, sides of the transaction, then that's the one they win the most, I think, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, you know, there, there's many ways you can work commission in. It's you so can, true. You can do it on the back side. You can do it, you know, I, I like to do the back side a lot. When I'm purchasing a house myself yeah. and I, I go with the front, I will a lot of the times give up my commission on the front because I know I'm going to make it back twice as much in the back side. You heard that, y'all? She said she'd give up her commission. <laughs> Who does that? An investor realtor. An investor realtor does that. <laughs> because there's a greater reward at right. the end, right? That's right? That makes sense. And we're going to teach you all of these strategies at the three-day real estate workshop here in Orlando, February 22nd um, to the 24th. And we have the bus ride, and we're taking you out to properties just like this. Some of them are going to be pretty. Some of them are going to be not. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them might be pink. Some of them might be pink. Some of them might be not. not. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to show you how you can make money with all of these properties, right? Exactly. So make sure you go and you reserve your seat on the bus. It's cashflowyourlife.com forward slash three days, the number three, because it's three whole days of information. And purchase your ticket. Why not? It's the best real estate education, investor education that you can absolutely get I mean it's tens of thousands of dollars worth of um, information education I should say rather that would completely change your life it's going to um, show you a new skill that will definitely make you money for the rest of your life once you know how to master it and we're going to put all those pieces together don't you agree yes I do and what you know Jackie and I have a big part of our um, investment I guess what rain or whatever you want to say <laughs> yes we rain we take over the world <laughs> we that's do. what we do we, we conquer do. we divide and conquer that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. but, but what we've done is you know this is our chance to really take um, in our education classes we've never had the chance to really go in depth with new investors mm -hmm. over you know what it really takes and how you actually have to set yourself up powerfully to invest to make money this is so true and this three-day workshop is going to be us giving you everything that we couldn't say in those teachings. Yes, this is very, very true. I mean, it's inside of information. We are pulling back the curtains, being very, very transparent and open with you guys just to let you know exactly how it's going to be, how you can make money, how it's done. Step-by-step, step, hand holding so that you get it. When you leave, you will know how to be profitable flipping properties.
You sure will. That, that's right. 